How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be creating a website banner using HTML and CSS. Okay, so right here we have the finished product as we can see. It is a fairly straightforward banner. Okay, so obviously we've got the message right here alongside the close button which I'm also going to show you how to make that work. Okay, so um, also note that um, any content you have right down here. So for example, I'll just go inside here and add some content. For example, hey, how's it going? I'll just save this on the second screen and we get content right here. So any content which you have right here, um, most likely some sort of navigation bar or uh, you know header is going to be pushed down. And then of course, when the user closes the actual banner, it is going to then collapse and go back up to the top. So anyway, let's go inside here and begin from scratch to create what we just saw. Okay, so first step, let's go inside the HTML. As we can see, we have a fairly straightforward HTML5 template. Okay, so I'll just close this off. And as the first step, we can head to the browser actually, and we can go to the material icons website. So basically, we're going to be using Google material icons for the close button uh, right here. Okay, so let's go inside the icon library right here and we can do a search for the close icon and we get this one right down here, this simple X. So this is the icon we're going to be using. So to actually use this icon, let's go back up here and go into the, uh, into the developer guide. And once we're inside here, we can head down to the icon, uh, icon fonts for the web and just simply copy and paste this link tag right here into the head of the actual HTML right up here. Okay, so I can save this and now of course we can take advantage of the Google material icon library on the actual website right here. So let's go back inside our fresh HTML and begin on the actual HTML itself for the banner. So the first step here is gonna be to create a new div with a class of banner and then inside here we're going to have the banner content okay so essentially um, the actual banner itself this one right up here this is going to be the main green bar which you just saw the banner content class right here is going to be whatever is inside the actual banner of course includes the text and also the close icon uh, once we're inside here we can make a new div with a class of banner underscore underscore text of course for all of the banner text. For example, let's just say something like uh, reminder, and we can just say, you know, your subscription ends in 22 days. Um, obviously, you need to renew to avoid account suspension. Okay, so just an example message right there. And then lastly, let's create a new button, uh, of course, for the actual close. So let's give this a type of button and also a class of um, of banner underscore underscore close just like that and then once we're inside here let's actually include the google material icon so um, to use these icons we can see on the actual page um, we have the usage right down here so give this a span with a class of material dash icon so i'll just copy this right here and then paste it inside here and we can save this and now going inside the browser we can see we have something like this Okay, so now it's going to be all up to the CSS to, of course, turn this right here into this right here. So back inside here, let's uh, minimize all of this HTML and move on to the CSS right up here. So the first step is, of course, going to be to remove the space on the edges uh, of the actual body of the page. So let's target HTML and body and we can say margin of zero. So now, of course, we get this right here, everything is now tight up against the edges. So now let's go back inside here and target um, the main banner. So for the banner, um, because it's actually a div, okay, so we can see here it is a div. So because it's a div, it's going to automatically have a 100% width. Okay, so we can simply just, if I can spell this correctly, we can simply set a background here of something like 009579, and that is the decode green color. We can now just uh, target the banner underscore underscore content and for the content itself um, Let's just set first up here 
a padding of let's just do 16 px so now let's save this and refresh the browser as we can see we get this right here so the actual contents of the um, of the banner we can see here it is a full width um, of the page okay so we need to actually make this smaller so it's easier for the user to read so in most cases you want to make this something like 1000 pixels okay so let's go inside here and set a max width here of 1000 pixels just like that now if I was to save this we can see the content is going to end right here in the banner content uh, maybe not uh, we've got the max width right here oh, okay so this is the problem right so because my screen is currently zoomed in we can't see that difference okay so let's make this something like 500 just for demonstration purposes and now we can see that we actually have that maximum width being applied here to the content so now to get this to be centered we can easily just do a margin of a zero and then auto okay and then we can save this and of course now it is going to be in the center like I said earlier uh, make this something like 1000 I'm only doing 500 for demonstration purposes so it actually fits in the frame let's also give this a display of flex and, uh, and, and align items of center and now this is going to essentially um, uh, place the X or the close button on the right side there and it's also going to ensure that the X is uh, centered vertically. If I was to remove uh, this actual, um, if I can find it right here, if I remove this uh, align item center, we can see um, that actually goes up to the top and putting it back is going to, of course, um, center our close button. Okay, cool. So now let's go back inside here and we can move on to the banner text so let's target the banner text right here and for this one we can give this a flex grow of one and this will ensure that the actual text is always going to take up the most space it can and essentially uh, squeeze the close button to the smallest size possible we can also give this a line height of 1.4 and a font family of let's just do quicksand and then we can also do sans serif of course you can make this font whatever you like let's save this and we get something like this in the browser cool so now going back inside here we can target the actual close button and for the close button we can give this a background of none as well as a border um, of none and a cursor of pointer Let's save this and now we can see the actual close button is of course fully transparent and we only get the X. So the last step here for the CSS is just going to be to make all of this text white. So going back inside here, let's, uh, let's target the banner text class alongside um, the banner close and now we're going to actually target the span directly. Okay, so let's do banner close and then say uh, greater than sign then the span. So for this, we can just say a color of white. Saving this is going to give us this right here, and we are essentially done with the actual banner itself. So now it's going to be all about uh, using JavaScript to actually make this close button work. Okay, so let's go inside here once again and head down to the script tag right down here. Okay, so the first step here is going to be um, to get a reference um, to the actual close button itself. So in the case where you actually only have a single banner on the page, what you can do is you can just do this. You can just say document.querySelector and using query selector we can then pass in here a class of banner underscore underscore close. So this right here is going to select the first HTML element with a class of banner underscore underscore close and of course this case right here it's going to refer to this one so now we can just say um, dot add event listener so when the actual button gets clicked on okay we can run this function right here okay so um, you actually want to be using right here I made a mistake so we need to actually be using a regular JavaScript function so you can just place function inside here what I just shown was an arrow function and in this case it is not going to work 
Okay, so now we have this on click listener. When the button gets clicked on, we can just say alert. For example, let's just alert the number one just to test and see if it actually works. So saving this and going inside the browser and clicking on the button, we get alert of one right there. Perfect. So now let's head back inside here and uh, we can just do something like this. So we're going to say this inside the function. So when I write this inside this function, it's referring to the actual button itself. So this one right here. So I'm saying, get me the button. Okay. So um, also by saying this, it's the exact same as just doing this right here, this query selector. These refer to the exact same thing. So I'm saying this dot, and then I'm going to say closest right here. And then I'm going to say dot banner. So what the, what the closest method does right here is it's going to start from this button. Okay. And then it's going to go up and look for in the HTML. It's going to look for right here, the first element with a class of banner. So basically it's going to go from this button up to this banner right here. Okay. And then once we have the banner itself, we can then simply just say something like dot style dot display is equal to none. So basically we're just supplying a display of none for the CSS. Saving this and going inside the browser and then clicking on the button is going to remove the banner right there. Now, of course, if I was to add some content, for example, hey mate, save this and then once again, close the button, it's going to push the content to the top. And that is one way of doing the actual removal of the banner. If you don't want to use the display of none, okay, so if you want to remove the banner completely from the page, then you can simply change this right here to be instead of display, we can just say dot remove. So dot remove is a fairly new method in JavaScript and basically it is going to remove the element. So let's close this and we get a similar result. This time we can see inside the body, the actual HTML for the actual banner has been removed. So um, that remove uh, method right here. So child no dot remove. This is actually, like I said, fairly new. So um, it is it is well supported, but not supported in Internet Explorer uh, 11 or Opera Mini. So just be wary when using some of these new methods. My advice is probably to use this display of none uh, technique instead. So. I forgot to mention also that I'll be leaving a link to the material icons right here in the description below if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.